Hello everyone, The316 here with another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse review. This time I got the Collector's Edition Starfire, Blackfire, and Captain Boomerang. Each of these retailed for $29.99. I got Starfire and Captain Boomerang from Best Buy at retail price. And Blackfire I got from Big Bag Toy Store for just under $40 or $50 after shipping. So she was a $10 increased on the retail price and then four dollars shipping so not too bad uh anyway i did not get the penguin from this collector's edition wave i just didn't feel like i needed it i mean at some point i may go back and get it he's still uh, m most of the standard versions of these figures are available but um these were really the only three i wanted to get and let's get into it so starfire and blackfire uh, they both have the exact same things, just in different colors. The only exact same thing they share is the card stands, the cards, and the um, flight stands. These have the exact same card, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, you don't have Commander over here. You just have two Coriander cards. I'll probably put one of them in the uh, binder that I have and then the other one I'll just keep as is. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish it did come with a uh, actual different card than this. It would have been nice. Oh, well. And, uh, of course, Captain Boomerang over here, he comes with, uh, you know, his collector card, and there is the description for you. Put that in there. And uh, next up, Starfire and Blackfire both come with some uh, power effect pieces. So uh, Starfires here come in green. These do kind of lock into the hands, although I have a trouble putting Blackfires on. They are, as you can see, uh, mirrored effect pieces. So they're the exact same, just mirrored. And uh, they do show up nicely on a black light. Very nice and bright. I'll probably display them in these flight poses, but obviously for the review, I gotta show you what's in it. Uh, yeah, hers just—they don't—they don't stay on very well, and uh, these ones show up on black light too, very nice and bright. And uh, it's, it's the exact same pieces, just in a different color. The green ones are easier to uh, see all the details, but there's that for you. And that's all the accessories that uh, Starfire and Blackfire come with. Let's go on to Captain Boomerang. It's quite a bit. So first of all, he comes with two boomerangs. Good. <laughs> he comes with a pair of fists, if I can get those in focus. Don't know if these are reuse, but uh, I know that I believe all of these hands, that the hands you're about to see, are not reuse. So he comes with a pair of like open, like... He just threw a boomerang hand, or he's about to throw one, he's just aiming it. That's one for each side, as you can see. And he also comes with a trigger finger hand for each side as well. And, uh, you know, you can stick the boomerang in there like that. You can stick it in there, you know, this way. You know, maybe you're feeling a little adventurous, go down here. I don't know. But, yeah, he comes with six pairs of hands. Not only does he come with all of those great... Uh, you know, hand pieces and uh, boomerangs. He also comes with a removable cape. Cape? cape. Why did I say cape? A removable coat here, which I believe reuses the um, Dark Knight uh, Rises Bane coat, just without the fluff in it. Okay, yeah. So th the easiest way to remove this is to just take the hands off first. I was just trying to <laughs> jump the gun. Okay, this hand has trouble coming off. I'm going to do that off camera. There you go. Oh, yeah. Also, another thing to point out is that neither Starfire nor Blackfire come with a standard standing base. They only come with the flight stand base, which, you know, the first collector's edition wave Superman came with one, or rather one of each. Anyway, there's that pretty decently nice jacket. Uh, if you want to get this in a brighter blue color... The Platinum Chase version of this figure does have that uh, kind of in this color. Get that fixed. And of course, he does come with a scarf. 
this kind of reminds me of like a hoodie texture. That's what it reminds me of. It's got a bit of stretch to it, as you can see. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me put the fists on this guy, just so he has something to uh, something. Okay, I'll just I'll just loosely put them on. Should be able to put the uh, jacket. I almost said cape again. The jacket back on. Anyway, so yeah, it comes with the jacket. Comes with a that, and uh, yeah, that's that's all the accessories each of these figures come with. As you can see, Captain Boomerang comes with a bunch. They don't come with a lot. Let me get these boxes out of the way. So both Starfire and Blackfire's boxes are the exact same. Uh, here is the um, barcode if you need that. If you're looking for it in store, on this side it says Collector's Edition Starfire, and it has a uh, you know the card art on the back. Wish they did more with these boxes. As I said, it's the exact same. It says Starfire, but it has a platinum sticker on it. Literally no other difference besides that platinum sticker. And Boomerang, same thing. It just says Boomerang. Captain Boomerang. The Flash. No specific comic book here. Kind of crazy-eyed. He doesn't have the mutton chops, though, which uh, the figure does. And uh, there's a barcode if you're looking for that one. All right. Let me stand him back up because I knocked him over. And uh, we will put the, I almost said cape again, the coat back on him. But let's get Starfire and Blackfire down from their uh, flight stands here. Now these two, I haven't been able to stand up properly. Uh, they're, they got really tiny feet, like really tiny feet, like, like, the, like, 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 look how small that is. Like, how am I supposed to stand this up? <laughs> it's just, and, and especially with how big this hair piece is, it just ain't happening. Like, I could, I could kind of fake it, but like, man, even trying to fake it's not working. God, ugh. I wish McFarlane had some better, like, ankles. Like, they, they look nice, sure, but they don't work well. That or they made the feet on these ladies bigger. As you can see, I'm just having a hard time trying to actually stand her up on these stupid feet. So let's just stick her on the flight stand for now. But uh, Trying to get her foot in there was a challenge. And because of how big her hair is, she can't really stand on it straight because of this thing in the way. And yeah, you can remove this, but... Uh, Man, she does not want to stand up. See what I'm saying? She just does not want to stand up. I don't I don't get it. God, we're already eight minutes into the review, and this is what's happening. <laughs> Yo, what up, homeboy? No. Okay. Come on, just just stand up properly. Alright, good. That's good enough. And let's do the same with Blackfire here. I think Blackfire might be easier to stand just because of the plastic uh, color that they used. Sometimes certain color plastics are a little bit sturdier than other color plastics, which can be a good and a bad thing, but let's see. Can she stand up all right? Can she stand up all right? Yeah, no, she's having the same problem as Starfire. The, the, there's just too much hair action going on back here, so she can't really stand up on her own. Let's just stick her on the base. The hole is in a weird spot, too. I'm glad they included the... Maybe the reason they didn't include regular stands is because these two can't actually stand on their own. I mean, Captain Boomerang, he doesn't need his stand. And uh, I don't use the stands anymore. It saves a lot of room on the display shelf. Anyway, since... Uh, let's start off with the ladies. So Starfire here and Blackfire as well. They're the exact same body mold, just one Starfire and one's Blackfire. I think that this is a pretty decent reuse of the molds. I don't know if this has any particular look to uh, any comic, this Blackfire, but you know, this Starfire here is, I would argue, pretty, pretty close to, you know, this comic art. The only difference is like the age of the face. You know, over here she looks a bit more uh, grown up, like a teenage, not a teenager, but just like a young adult. Whereas here she looks more like teenage just to a young adult. 
I don't know when this comic, uh, you know, like the ages of this comic, but she, she looks more old here. But it's a good, you know, it's a good translation of this picture to this figure. I do also think the orange color is a little bit different. This is more peachy. This is more like uh, orange juice. Uh, yeah, it looks good, though. It does mostly reuse the Catwoman body, legs, and arms. The, the, the only body part Catwoman reused here is the midsection piece. The crotch piece, the upper torso are new, and, of course, the head is new. I do wish for Blackfire that they used a new, or rather a different head sculpt. Obviously, these two are like twins, or they are twins. Different different continuities, different canons. In any case, they're both sisters. Uh, one weird thing about both of these figures I noticed is that this shoulder sits out a lot further than the other one. I just, I don't know why that is. Like, even if I try to line this one up, it's, it's just, a, it's a strange choice. I, I don't know why it's there. Uh, again, one thing with the platinum figure here is that because Starfire uses, I believe, a new glove piece, is that Commander over here, Blackfire, she has some texture on her hand, which looks more like a glove instead of, you know, just a flesh tone hand. It is, it is supposed to be a, uh, you know, just a hand, like a flesh tone hand, but, you know, because of that uh, texture on there, it looks more like a glove. It's not something that's going to bother me too much just because I'm going to have the purple effect pieces on her. But otherwise, you know, if that's something that bugs you, you might want to look into getting some new hands. Uh, going on to Commander here, I do like that they uh, painted silver on here. What I don't like is that they painted silver on the wrist piece as well as the ankle piece. When I tried to move this, some of the silver paint chipped off. Uh, that's not good. And also, it was very difficult to actually turn just the wrist part because they also paint the peg itself, which is stupid. They gotta stop painting the peg. It it it, it baffles me that they keep painting the peg. Do do they want a repeat of the Dark Knight trilogy wave? Ugh. And yeah, sorry. I'm just I'm ranting, but you know when you're paying thirty dollars for this figure and you know almost fifty for this one. If you don't find it at retail, and and you have this guy in the same wave next to them, and how much he comes with, it it really doesn't feel like these two are worth the money that was put into them. You know, like there's what one, two, three, maybe five new parts here, as well as the effect pieces, which is seven. It just it doesn't it just doesn't seem worth it when it's mostly reuse. There's not a lot of accessories. You know, Blackfire is a platinum chase rather than just a standard release figure. It, it just, it's not, I, I stop making platinum chases really sought after characters or figures. Just make it a simple color swap. I, I know I say that, and yet Superman Red was a platinum chase of the Superman Blue. What they should have done with that wave is what DC, um, universe classics did where it was a 50 50 you either got blue or red equal amount produced equal amount available that's what they should have done but no instead they made like 10,000 of this figure and like 2,000 of this figure which is stupid Ugh. and then they got three new platinum chases upcoming that are either variants or brand new figures like Sportsmaster, reverse flash and I forget who the third one was, but Todd has gone platinum crazy, and just just make them simple repaints. That's all they need to be, you know? Like, just, just make them non-desirable. Just make them like something that's cool to have, but not something you need. Ugh. All right, rant aside, let's get into some articulation. Now, I only taken a look at this articulation in the Supergirl video, but, you know, she can touch her uh, shoulder there. Of course, you got the um, rotator cuff here, which mine is very tight on this side. Maybe that's why this one's out further, so that it could actually rotate a bit more. And you do have the, um, uh, I almost said forearm, the elbow, not elbow, damn it. <laughs> uh, what is the bicep swivel? That's it. 
And uh, as you saw in Commander, you do have the wrist here, and that can twist, but because of how small it is and because they paint the peg, you might break it. It's, it's a very likely thing. Starfire, because of... I'm just going to use both of these because the articulation is the exact same. The hairpiece on this one, she can't actually look up. She's perpetually looking slightly down. If you want her to look down even further, yeah, you can do that. Just can't make her look up at all. You can kind of push her head back, but it's not going to make her look up, really. And, uh, you know, there's not really... <laughs> side to side is not really there. I think they did put her on the taller, or the, rather the tallest neck peg, but... It, oh, mine's already loose a little bit. <laughs> Let's see, crunch. Pretty much no crunch. Uh, you can break her spine, that's fine. Uh, you know, you got that there, and you got that there, although I don't recommend the upper one because this is a softer plastic, and this is a harder plastic, and it can warp that. Uh, you, you would think it'd have a thigh swivel, but nope. It's all one piece. Uh, let's see, can she kick her own ass? Can she kick her own ass? She can kick her own ass. And, uh, you know, you got the uh, ankle swivel there. And then you got the pivots, which, because of how small this foot is, it's kind of difficult. But uh, you also got a toe bend. Really wish they didn't add this toe bend, especially for this figure. Like, of all the figures not to include a toe bend, it should have been the Starfire. Because, as you can see, mine can't stand properly. And that's probably why they didn't give her a uh, action figure stand. She's just... It's awful. Just... Ugh. This release only frustrates me just because of how much I paid. Still nice to have both of these figures, but... Ugh. Anyway, let's take a look at a really great figure. Captain Boomerang. 17 minutes in, and we're finally looking at Captain Boomerang. Now I can just gush about how much I love this figure. Now, this figure also is reuse, but it's it's well done reuse, unlike uh, Starfire over here. Uh, so the, the only new things here, I believe, is the midsection piece as well as the upper torso and uh, maybe the hands. But uh, the arms, the legs, the crotch piece, they're all reused from the uh, Grifter figure, which I don't have, so no comparison there. But... Yeah, this Captain Boomerang is great, and of course he has his coat here, and the scarf. You know, if you want to do just the scarf, you can just drape it over him like that. And, uh, you know, you can actually make him look down a little bit, and then you can push it in. And, eh, it didn't do it right. Like, underneath his mutton chop. Well, you get the idea. You can have just the scarf on if you want, or no scarf. Um... I do wish she came with some alternate arms, some like, uh, you know, almost uh, like bodybuilder arms, I guess. I don't know. I do feel like the arms are a little bit large on this guy, but I think that's just because of the new upper torso pushing them out so far. So it makes him look like he's really, really built. Like, this dude is built. Uh, now, there is no paint down here as far as I can tell. This is all molded plastic and... It can be kind of hard to see the boot texture in there, but it looks good for what it is. There's nice texture on the uh, canvas, like cargo type of jean or pants here. He's got some pouches and pockets that he can put boomerangs and other things, etc., uh, etc. Et Obviously no gun holster. He doesn't really use guns, but... Um, yeah, there's that, and, uh, you know, that that swivel looks a little weird, but, you know, otherwise, pretty good. Without the coat, he can do some mostly good poses, you know, touch his shoulder there. Can he kick his own ass? He almost can, but not really. Uh, let's see, does he have any swivel? Nope, not really. Uh, otherwise, yeah, this figure's good, uh, but one weird thing about it, Look at look at how holy that is. That is a giant ass hole in his torso. Oof. Ugh. Well, I am kind of sad that I didn't get the EQL uh, platinum of these three figures. I'm fine with just this one. You know, white lanterns are cool, but like, it's, I don't really need a white lantern, Captain Boomerang. I'm glad Todd did that platinum if I ever decide to get that boomerang. But you know, this is good. Anyway, let's 
put the scarf back on him and and we'll do that after the coat let's put the coat back on and see if he is lacking any articulation i was not expecting this review to go over 20 minutes but here we are <laughs> if uh if you've watched up to this point leave a comment that says uh boomerang get that coat on there all right, and then make sure his arm is twisted properly. Let's see where's the joint. There it is. Twist that. Okay. So with the jacket on, he's kind of stuck in a, a pose there. And I'm still trying to get the arm to behave. It's not. There we go. I do fear that I might rip the uh, seams on this jacket here, but it seems sturdy enough. And uh, let's get that scarf in there. I do feel like this jacket's a little big for him. Like, thick big, not like size big. But, alright, come on, get in there. Get under his head. Alright, eh, come on. There we go. One side's a little longer. That's better. Not by much. <laughs> alright, so... With the jacket, he can go all the way out. You are going to have some trouble, like, moving his shoulder, but I would do that, um, you know, as you go. Bend-wise, he can still bend his arm just fine, but he's not really going to be able to touch his shoulder. But, you know, he can, you know, go for a boomerang there. And uh, let's see. I mean, the wrist, you got plenty of access to the wrist there, no problem. And, uh, of course, he can still has all of that articulation, you know, the coat gets out of the way. It's a nice fabric cloak. Cloak. Damn it. I can't say coat. I don't know why. It's just... Ugh. Anyway. I swear I could get his arms to sit flatter. Oh, well. He'll, he'll just be stuck in that A pose. I mean, I plan to pose him throwing the boomerang, but let's get all of these people stand up, and we'll do just some brief size comparisons. I don't think I'm going to go through... Uh, all of the ones, just relevant ones today. Captain Boomerang here. He stands at about 7 inches tall, give or take. And he just fell over. Starfire here, if I could get her to stand up properly. At the top of her hair, she's about 7. Uh, she's closer to 6.5 without the top of her hair, though. So, like the top of her head. Alright, come on, stand up, Boomerang. Come on, you don't need your stand. You were standing just fine this whole review. Alright, now he's giving me trouble. Oh well. Anyway, we're just going to do four comparisons today. Let's start off with some Teen Titans. Now, I don't actually have the Titans Build-A-Figure Wave. Wish I actually got that, because it's expensive now in the aftermarket, but oh well. Uh, so I do have a Vampire Nightwing. So there's uh, what he looks like next to... Starfire and Blackfire. We'll stick him in the middle there. He's a little bit taller than both of them. Uh, next up, the only other, I would say, like, Young Justice or uh, Teen Titan that I have here is the Kid Flash. Wally West. Stick him there, just to give you an idea. Speaking of Wally West, we got Wally West the Flash. And, uh-oh, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, well, this this guy's going to be clearance to Walmart soon, so... <laughs> Seriously, there's so many at my local Walmart. And speaking of flashes, here's Barry Allen from Fleshpoint. All right, that's all the uh, uh, comparisons we're going to do today. But uh, you know what? No, let's do one more. Let's, let's do a Marvel Legends since I have it on the shelf. I have the Ultimate Captain America. S similar looking blues. Anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this collector's wave. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. It all helps out the channel. And as always, peace.